The Springville Dam Ecosystem Restoration Project proposes to restore the ecological connectivity of the upper and lower Cattaraugus Creek watershed down to the confluence of Lake Erie while continuing to block sea lampreys from spawning habitat in the upstream headwaters. Sea lampreys are an invasive species to the Great Lakes. Project partners include the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Fish and Wildlife Service, New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Erie County, and the State Historic Preservation Office. Recently, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services and the Seneca Nation of Indians were at the dam trapping sea lampreys at the powerhouse outflow and removing them from the creek. Traps are placed in the water, and after a period of time, the traps are raised and the sea lampreys are removed by hand from the trap. Other fish species caught in the trap are then released back into the creek. Next, the team sorts and counts each sex and measures the sea lampreys before disposing of them. The Ecosystem Restoration Project proposes a similar trap and sort system at the top of the fish ramp to prevent the sea lampreys from traveling upstream of the dam into the upper watershed. Once the sea lampreys are sorted out of the trap, the remaining fish will be released to the upper creek. The proposed fish ramp will be closed during the sea lamprey spawning period to prevent upstream migration of the sea lampreys. The sea lamprey migration can begin as early as March and may extend well into fall. The fish ramp could potentially be opened for fish travel to the upper Cattaraugus Creek and its tributaries following the sea lamprey spawning migration, pending approval by project partners. Opening the higher quality upper watershed could potentially double the spawning habitat for fish in the creek. Other goals of the project are to design the dam structure to meet current dam safety standards and to maximize preservation of the original dam and powerhouse. In 1996, the dam was listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. The project looks to minimize the historical impact by leaving as much of the original dam structure intact as possible while still meeting the project goals.